when you see uh, a video of an unarmed American getting killed by a cop, how does your perspective as a cop lead you, if at all, to see it differently than the typical civilian might? Okay. Um, I actually am a, a master firearms instructor and I teach a lot of use of force, deadly force. Uh, so what I'm going to te- tell you is what I teach police officers. Just because somebody doesn't have a weapon in his hand doesn't mean he's unarmed. If you're a police officer and I have you on your back and I have you by your collar and I'm banging your head on the cement, am I unarmed? Because I'm hitting your head against the weapon and not the weapon against your head makes the sidewalk no less a weapon. Um, There's something in the use of force called disparity of force. If you have a four foot nine female police officer trying to arrest a six foot seven, 350 pound football player, does he have the ability to kill her with his bare hands? So it's not just that someone doesn't have a weapon in their hands, it's a little more complicated than that. Uh, We had a a constable here in the 90s killed because three men who were much smaller than him tackled him to the ground and beat him to death. So that's force of numbers. That's another disparity of force. So when I look at it, I look at it in the totality of the circumstances as to whether there was a disparity there that made escalation of force reasonable. And a lot of times it's not. But the mere fact of them being unarmed is touted as, uh, well, the police had to have screwed up. He was unarmed. And the best. uh, All right. I'll give you a scenario that I that I tell everybody. If a police officer shoots an unarmed man in the back from 100 feet away, is he wrong? And most people would say yes. If the police officer was answering a call on the second floor of an apartment building and he heard a scream in the in the alley and sees a man choking a woman to death, and the officer yells, and maybe he throws his baton at the man, but the man continues on. And the officer knows by the time he gets down the stairs, out the building, down to the alley, the woman's going to be dead. Now he shoots the man. Is the officer wrong? Just because the man was unarmed? So it takes, everybody asks me when the video comes out, were they right or wrong? Okay, first of all, you have to wait and find out what the facts are. And second of all, you have to look at it based on the totality of the circumstances. Third, we in this country, we like to have binary choices. You know, politically, people want the magic button that's going to solve a problem, right? Mm-hmm. And one of my mantras is there are no uh, simple solutions to complicated problems. Mm-hmm. But we want the simple answer. And a lot of times, it's not that the police were wrong or the police were right. Some things they did right, some things they did wrong. A great, a great example would be the Breonna Taylor case. Now, whether or not no knock warrant should happen is a whole other issue. But the officers were following their department policy. When the sergeant entered the apartment, uh, Taylor's boyfriend was absolutely justified in shooting at the police officer. Um, the, the, knock, the knock and bang, I don't really agree with because you're not going to hear somebody say police search warrant. You're going to hear your door being broken down. Right. Or, or, or you just might hear muffled voices or you might or, or you might not. You might hear the word police and simply not trust that it's in fact the police because it could be an imposter. Yeah, there's, you know, if I was going to rob somebody, I would come in the house saying police because you're going to make them hesitate. Right. But the average person woke up by their door crashing down in the middle of the night. It's reasonable for him to defend his home. Now, it was reasonable for the officer to fire back. Firing six shots, that's kind of high normal, but I wouldn't say it was ridiculously excessive. Where they went off the rails was the other two officers fired 26 shots through the windows. So they don't have a clear identification of the suspect. They don't have the elements of deadly force. So to my mind, that was incredibly reckless. The officer was right. Taylor's boyfriend was right. But the officers firing from the outside were wrong. So a situation, sometimes it's completely right or completely wrong. George Floyd was completely wrong. Mm -hmm. There's no mitigating factors in that. But uh, I don't think people are willing to accept a mixed answer. 
I, I want to get to the George Floyd case in a moment, but let's linger a bit on the Breonna Taylor case. Uh, my, my last reading of, of the reporting on that was that there were two officers coming in from the door and then the third officer shooting crazily from the window outside who, you know, charges of reckless endangerment, endangerment were, were brought against. And uh, it, it seems as if, uh, I, I, I think I'm right about this, that the, the bullet that ended up killing Brianna was not from the, sh the first cop that got shot in the leg, but the cop you know, very close to him, also coming in through the door. Um, the reporting that I saw was that only the sergeant made entry. The other two were firing through the windows. And it wasn't the, the sergeant shot that hit Brianna Taylor. There that, that was the killing shot. The fatal shot was fired from outside the apartment. Uh, so, so I think we're agreeing about everything, except m my impression was that the sergeant made entry into the apartment, and then there was someone just behind him outside the threshold of the door also shooting. That's possible. I, like I said, I, if I could see the official reports, that's one thing. Yeah. You know, you look at the reporting, and the reporting's all over the place, and, and I have to kind of use my experience to kind of sift through mm. what probably happened when you get a dozen different uh, scenarios. Yeah. But no matter how you slice it, uh, I didn't. I don't think the sergeant did anything wrong. I I would have to look at the police department's policy to know if they authorize shooting inside from outside of a building into a building blindly. 